morning good morning good morning where you are good morning to you and today is passes of light where do our daily bible reading for the year 2023 we're going to be reading the scriptures from genesis right through to revelations throughout this year 2023 if you haven't been following i beseech you to go back on all the scriptures we've read thus far and catch up with the scriptures amen today we're going to be reading the book of Ruth, and we're going to be covering their four chapters in the book of Ruth. i want you to grab your bible where you are and read along with me today i'm so excited to be here with you this morning my name is prophetess josephine Enuma, and i want you to follow closely throughout this year as we study the scriptures together god bless you as we read together grab your bible i'll give you a few moments to grab your bible where you are as we read together if you don't have a bible with you at the moment maybe you're on the train to work or you're currently in a position where you do not have a bible there will be bible scriptures coming up on the screen so please follow closely so you don't miss what we're doing here today god bless you and i hope you enjoy the scriptures as we read together today god bless you amen hallelujah so we're starting with root chapter 1 verse 1 it says i want you to follow closely i don't want you to miss anything tonight amen god bless you so it's it reads and as and i'm quoting the scriptures tonight it says now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land and a certain man of bethlehem judah went to sojourn in the country of moab he and his wife and his two sons verse 2 reads and the name of the man was elimelech elimelech <laughs> elimelech and the name of his wife is naomi we all know the story of naomi and the name of his two sons malon and shilion ephratites of the bethlehem, bethlehem judah and they came into the country of Moab and continued there. Verse 3 reads, And Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. And they took the wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Opah, Op 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 and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelt there about ten years. Verse 5, and Malon and Shilion died, also both of them, and the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. And she, she arose with her daughters, her daughter in law, daughters in law, that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited his people in giving them bread. Verse 7, wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her and they went on the way to return unto the land of judah and naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law go return each to her mother's house the lord deal kind with you as ye have dealt with the dead and with me and the lord grant you that ye may find rest and each of you in the house of her husband then she kissed them and they lifted up their voice and wept and they said unto her surely we will return with thee unto the unto thy people verse 11 and naomi said turn again my daughters why will ye go with me are there yet any more sons in my womb that they may be your husbands and turn again my daughters go your way for i am too old to have an husband if i should say i have hope if i should have an husband also tonight and should also bear sons would ye tarry for them till they were grown would you stay for them from having husbands nay my daughters for it grieveth me much for your sakes that the hand of the lord is gone out against me and they lifted up their voice and wept again and Opa kissed a mother-in-law but ruth clave unto her 
and verse 15 reads and she said behold thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods return thou after thy sister-in-law and verse 16 reads and Ruth said entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee for whither thou goest i will go and where thou lodgest i will lodge thy people shall be my people and thy god my god and thou diest will i die and there will there will i be buried and the lord do also do so to me and most also if aught but death part thee and me and verse 18 reads when she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her then she left speaking unto her and then verse 19 reads so they too they too went until they came to bethlehem and it came to pass when they were come to bethlehem that all the city was moved about them and they said is this naomi and she said unto them call me not naomi call me mara for the almighty hath dealt very bitterly with me i went out full and the lord had brought me home again empty why then call ye me like Naomi, seeing the Lord had testified against me, and the Almighty had afflicted me? So Naomi returned, and Ruth the Moabite, a daughter-in-law with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of barley harvest. Bless the reading of the word of God today. We're going to be reading chapter 2 next of the book of Ruth. Grab your Bible where you are as we continue in reading the scriptures. And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband, a mighty man of wealth, of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabites said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field and glean his of corn after him, in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her daughter, and, uh, and said unto her, Go, my daughter. And verse 3 reads, And she went and came and gleaned in the field after the reapers, and her hap was to light on a path of the field belonging unto Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. Verse 4, And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then said Boaz unto his servants that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the, Moabit, the Moabitish damsel, that came back with Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and had continued even from the morning until now, that she tarried a little in the house. And then said Boaz unto Ruth, Hearest thou not, my daughter? Go not to glean in another field, neither go from ends, but abide here fast by my maidens. Let thy eyes be on the fields that they do reap, and go thou after them. Have I not charged the young men that they shall not touch thee? And when thou art athirst, go unto the vessels and drink of that which the young men have drawn. Verse 10. And she, and then she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground and said unto him, Why have I found grace in thy eyes, that thou shouldest take knowledge of me, seeing I am a stranger? Verse 11, And Boaz answered and said unto her, It hath fully been shewed me all that thou hast done, unto thy mother-in-law since the death of thy husband and how thou hast left thy father and thy mother and the land of thy nativity 
and art come unto a people which thou knowest not here heretofore. And the Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to trust. Verse 13, then she said, let me find favor in thy sight, my Lord, for that, for that thou art comforted me, and for that thou, thou art spoken friendly unto thy handmaid, though I be not like unto one of thy handmaidens. And verse 14 reads, And Boaz said unto her, At mealtime come thou either, and eat of the bread, and dip thy muscle in the vinegar. And she sat beside the rippers, and he reached her pashed corn, and she did eat, and was sufficed, and left. Verse 15, And when she was risen up to glean, Boaz commanded his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not. Verse 16, And let fall also some of the handfuls of purples of, for her, and leave them, and that she may glean them, and rebuke her not. Verse 17, so she gleaned in the field until even and beat out that she had gleaned and it was about an ephah of barley. Verse 18, and she took it up and went into the city and her mother-in-law saw that she had gleaned and she brought forth and gave to her that she had reserved after she, has, she was sufficed. Verse 19, and her mother-in-law said unto her, where art thou gleaned today and where rothest thou blessed be he that did take knowledge of thee and she shewed her a mother-in-law with whom she had brought and said the man's name with whom i have brought this today is boaz and naomi said unto her daughter-in-law blessed be he of the lord who had not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead and Naomi said unto her, The man is near of kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. And Ruth the Moabites said, He said unto me also, Thou shalt keep fast by my young men, until they have ended all my harvest. Verse 22, And Naomi said unto Ruth, a daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that thou go out with his maidens, that they meet thee not in any other field. And verse 23, the last verse of this chapter reads, So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean unto the end of the barley harvest and of wheat harvest and dwelt with her mother-in-law. And dwelt with her mother-in-law. Bless the reading of the word of God. Now we go on to chapter 3 of this Bible passage. Chapter 3 verse 1 reads, And then Naomi said, Naomi, her mother-in-law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for thee, that it may be well with thee? Verse 2 of chapter 3. And now is not Boaz of our kindred, with whose maidens thou wast? And behold, he winoweth <laughs> barley tonight in the threshing floor. Verse 3. Wash thyself therefore and anoint thee and put thy raiment upon thee and get thee down to the floor but make not thyself known unto the man until he shall have done eating and drinking. And verse 4. And it shall be when he lieth down that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie and thou shalt go in and uncover his feet and lay thee down and he will tell thee what thou shalt do. Verse 5, And she said unto her, All that thou sayest unto me, I will do. Verse 6, And she went down unto the floor, and did according to all that her mother-in-law bade her. And verse 7 reads, And when Boaz had eaten and drunk, and his heart was merry, and he went to lie down at the end of the heap of the corn, and she came softly and uncovered his feet, and laid her down. Verse 8, And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid, 
and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. Verse 9. And he reads, And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I am Ruth, thy handmaid. Spread therefore thy skirts over thy handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. Verse 10. And he said, Let's be thou of the Lord, my daughter, for thou hast showed more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning, inasmuch as thou followest not young men, whether poor or rich. Verse 11. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that thou request, requirest. For all the city of my people doeth know that thou art a virtuous woman. Verse 12. And it, now it is true that I am thy near kinsman. Albeit there is a kinsman nearer than I. And then verse 13 reads. Tarry this night and it shall be in the morning that if he will perform unto thee the part of a kinsman well, let him do the kinsman's part. But if he will not do the part of a kinsman to thee, then will I do the part of a kinsman to thee. And as the Lord liveth, lie thou until the morning. And she lay at his feet until the morning, and she rose up before one could know another. And he said, let it not be known that a woman came into into the floor and he said bring the veil that thou art upon thee and hold it and when she held it he measured six measures of barley and laid it on her and she went into the city verse 16 and when she came to her mother-in-law she said who art thou my daughter and she told her all that the man had done to her. And she said, These six measures of barley gave he me. For he said unto me, Go not empty unto thy mother-in-law. Verse 18. Then, she, then said she, Sit still, my daughter, until thou know how the matter will fall. For the man will not be in rest until he have finished the thing this day. Bless the reading of the word of God. Verse 18 was the last verse of that chapter. We're moving on now to verse, to chapter 4 of the book of Ruth. God bless you as you're following. Chapter 4 of the book of Ruth, verse 1 reads, Then went Boaz up to the gate, and sat down there, and behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz spake came by, unto whom he said, Oh, such a one, turn aside, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And verse 3 reads, And he said unto the kinsman, Naomi, that is come again, out of the country of Moab, selleth a parcel of land, which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants. And before the elders of my people, if thou wouldst redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me that I may know, for there is none to redeem it beside thee, and I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. Verse 5. Then said Boaz, What day thou buyest the field of the land of Naomi? Thou must buy it also of Ruth the more. Moabites, Moabites, the wife of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. Verse 6, And the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mark mine own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to thyself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the manner in former time. In Israel concerning redeeming and concerning changing for the for to confirm of to confirm all things a man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor and this was a testimony in Israel verse 8 therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz buy it for thee so he drew off his shoe and Boaz said unto the elders and unto the unto all the people 
ye are witnesses this day that I have bought all the all that was Elimelech's and all that was Shilin's and Malon's of the land of Naomi. And verse 10 reads, Moreover, Ruth the Moabites, the wife of Malon, have I purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among those brethren, and from the gate of his place ye are witnesses this day. And all the people that were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. The Lord make the woman that is come into thy house like Rachel and like Leah, which too did build the house of Israel and do thou worthily of Ephrata and be famous in Bethlehem. And let thy house be like the house of Pharez, whom Tamar bare unto Judah, of the seed which the Lord shall give thee of this young woman. And verse 13 reads, So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. And the women said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which had not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name may be famous in Israel. And he said, And he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thy old age. For thy daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, which is better to, the, to thee than seven sons, had borne him. And Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom, and became nurse unto it. And the women, her neighbors, gave it a name, saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. And these are the generations of Pharez. Pharez begat Ezra. Verse 19, And Ezra begat Ram, and Ram begat Ami Nabeb. And Aminadab begat Nashon, and Nashon begat Salmon. Verse 21 And Salmon begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed. And Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David. Bless the reading of the Word of God today. I'm so excited to be the person to bring you the scripture this day as the Lord use me as a vessel unto honor this day god bless you and thank you all so very much for joining us for our daily bible scripture reading there you have it the story of ruth what a blessing what a phenomenal woman what an exemplary woman of what a wife should be in the household of her husband and i pray that as you've heard these scriptures if you're a woman under the sound of my voice may you be a virtuous woman a woman of honor a woman that will be recognized in history for doing something phenomenal in the household of your husband god bless you and i pray that this day brings you good news and joy like never before until tomorrow i see you again god bless you i love you all with the love of god this is prophetess josephine Enuma, and god be with you until this day god bless you bye bye